Baseball swing mechanics experiment is squishing the bug, or is it squashing the bug, or is it squashing the bug? Anyway, is it ineffective? Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from the Hitting Performance Lab. Question, do squish the bug baseball swing mechanics depress bat speed? Well, we did an experiment using the Zep Baseball app to find out. To check out the background research and experiment setup, just click the link directly below this video under the Show More tab if you're watching this on YouTube. Here's the gist of the experiment. My intern for the summer, Tyler Derner, he's a redshirt freshman in college, took 100 swings using the counterbalance method of research, squishing the bug, and then took another 100 swings, counterbalancing, skipping the back foot. We wanted to see if squishing the bug had a increasing or decreasing effect on the bat speed at impact. Let's see how the experiment results turned out. For this baseball swing mechanics experiment, I wanted to key in on four specific metrics the Zep app gave me. Average bat speed at impact, average hand speed max, average time to impact, and the hitter's average attack angle. As you can see here, the average bat speed at impact is, are the big numbers and they're also here. You can see a big jump, an eight mile per hour jump when we skip the back foot. And you can see these other ones too, the hand speed max increased by three miles per hour. The time to impact increased or decreased quite a bit with skipping the back foot. But most notably, you gotta check out the attack angle down here. It actually increased to 17 degrees from 13. So about a four degree difference. Now I wanted to make one quick note on Tyler Derner swings. Here's a synced video of Tyler Derner's swing. On the left is the squish the bug test that he did, and then on the right is the skip the back foot. And what you're gonna notice is that on the left here, that he technically doesn't keep his back foot posted to the ground during the squish the bug test. You can see it actually come off the ground a little bit. So there was still an element of unweighting going on with his backside. In other words, he wasn't leaving his backside totally behind. In which case, measuring ball exit speed or how fast the ball comes off the bat may have netted interesting data to consider compared to impact bat speed. However, with the other data points of reference, average hand speed, time to impact, and attack angle, I think we can put the squish the bug baseball swing mechanics myth to bed. Now, let's review what the squish the bug baseball swing mechanics experiment revealed. Now, in conclusion, do squish the bug baseball swing mechanics depress bat speed? Well, and most notably, the baseball swing mechanics experiment data suggest that we can increase average bat speed at impact by 8 miles an hour and increase average the hitter's average attack angle by 4 degrees just by skipping the back foot during the turn. Make sure that we're swinging smarter by moving better. And before I let you go, the Hitting Performance Lab wants to know, did you know repeatable hitting power does not start in the hips? Have you heard the expressions, load and explode the hips, power comes from the hips? Well, we created a free video revealing the results of a scientific study that will show you how we added 48 feet of batted ball distance instantly, and it's not all about the hips. Click here now to get the video while it's still free.